your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. I think you'd better do what he says, Mr. Kenny. Yo, what's up, welcome to another build guide. So the other day I was in Discord chatting with some friends and other subscribers. So join my Discord by the way if you uh, want to chat with me and other players. Uh, so anyways, one of my uh, subscribers, uh, he is playing Armor Stacking Smite Champion. Uh, that is not a new build. Uh, it's been around for a couple of leagues I believe. People also play Iron Ascendant. So Armor Stacking is not a new concept but I haven't tried it actually. Because I thought it was a super expensive mirror tier build or something because it is aura stacking those kind of stuff. I was like, okay, uh, how much did you... He just um, started a Discord, you know, live stream, whatever it is called. And he's like killing Maven in seconds. I was like, 
how much did you spend for this build? And he said, uh, not much, 40, 50 eggs out. I was like, what the fuck? How is that even possible? He said, yeah, the, I, the gems are expensive. The other stuff doesn't even worth anything. So I just checked the gear, the weapons, the body armor, uh, belt, amulet, helmet. They're all one chaos uniques, I believe. Most of them, at least. Uh, the cluster jewels you use also are 70 chaos. They just start from 70 chaos. I just checked it before editing this video. They are still 70 chaos. Uh, if you maybe add some good resistances, those kind of stuff, they go up to one exalt something. You want at least, uh, not at least, uh, you want exactly six of those, I believe. So anyways, we are going to uh, go into detail later on. So most of the stuff are ridiculously cheap. But the most expens expensive stuff are actually the gems uh, because on... Determination Aura and whatever the other one is, Threat Banner. I'm just gonna check. No, no, Defiance Banner, yeah. Defiance Banner, Anomalous and uh, Determination Divergent, yeah. Those are a little bit expensive and maybe if you also want to buy some Awakened Elemental Damage with Attacks for your main skill. So you want to spend maybe some extra for um, more DPS, alright? So you get the idea. So overall the build is super cheap. Or this DPS, let's say, also for this uh, survival ability. Uh, the build has obviously uh, this is armor staking so more than 1 million armor so with my flasks up right now my character has 1.5 million armor so physical damage is not going to be an issue ever uh, you also generate endurance charges once you get hit um so the physical damage reduction is right now 90 percent in my pet of building i have 89 resistances uh, most people play with 90 but i just skipped one resist for more dps I don't want that final 1% resist. It won't do anything to me. Uh, so that's why I'm playing with 89 resistances. Uh, so 90 is the cap, by the way. This is a Dorena prototype build. So your lightning resist is going to be minus. Uh, that is how you deal damage. But once you stack armor, lightning damage from hits is actually uh, mitigated by armor. So that's not going to be an issue. But if you are not familiar with uh, Dorena prototype builds, uh, know that lightning degeneration effects still hit you. Because body armor says from hits, it doesn't protect you against uh, dot damage over time effects. Uh, so the only example I know is Shaper's laser. Uh, that is why you can easily die to that if you are not careful. Or maybe if you if the bosses maybe did some combo you know, <laughs> on you in maybe fear, those kind of stuff. So long story short, this build is not super expensive. Uh, you should probably spend 50 exalt maybe and maybe it goes up to 100 at most. If you want to buy everything but in the end the dps is just overkill so maybe you should skip some stuff so i advise you to uh, invest at least 40 50 exalt to make the build and feel strong and the build also has uh, insane amount of mitigation so this is simply absurd uh, maybe if more people start playing this maybe it is gonna get nerfed at some point because this is unethical all right so let's just uh, start explaining uh, the items those kind of stuff this is, by the way, the guide uh, for the other video, if you haven't checked that. There is a separate video where I um, was that tested 12 different gems, skills, main skills, with the same gear setup. I haven't even changed the helmet enchant, so it was wrong. It was Molten Strike enchant for the other 11 skills. Uh, the talent tree maybe is a little bit wrong on some of the skills. So I also haven't used Blood and Sand Aura, which works for AoE skills. And also, uh, while Ancestral Worship Totem, that works for uh, melee skills. Because Molten Strike is actually melee plus projectile skill. The most DPS comes from projectile. So, uh, while uh, what is that? Ancestral Worship doesn't do much. So, I actually tested those skills with lower DPS. Alright, that's what I'm trying to explain. Just check the Path of Building. Also, check that video the description. Uh, the link is also in the description. Uh, so make sure you play something if you like these kind of melee builds, alright? This is probably gonna get nerfed at some point. So let's check check the um, equipment and I will also explain more stuff if I see fit. So first of all, this is obviously a Dorian prototype uh, build. So you want minus resistance. So some of our items are actually gonna provide us minus resistances. So one big example is melding of the flesh. This is also how you can get uh, EQ resistances. Uh, minus resist. Elemental resistances are kept by your highest maximum elemental resistance. So for this build, um, I picked Purity of Fire. Um, I believe you can also go for Purity of Ice, but there is actually plus one fire resist on the talent tree, so probably you should go for Purity of Fire anyways. So yeah, 
Uh, just uh, go for maximum fire resist and in the end the other resistances can also have the same cap but the elemental only uh, so chaos resist won't get affected. Uh, other items I will just also show this. This is the belt I am using. This is a one chaos belt. Uh, life regeneration minus resistances and also armor if you are not ignited frozen or shocked. Uh, you can easily be uh, frozen immune from Brian King Pantheon. If you maybe invest into some harvest craft on your jewels because there are some implicits that let you um, avoid ignite those kind of ailments maybe if you can also put those you can be immune to others i haven't done that uh, my character actually got uh, ignite uh, if i try to tank something big like maven's explosion uh, that she does you can actually uh, tank that with this build but yeah ignite is a little bit of issue maybe you can die all right so yeah, this also provides some decent armor. So this is a one chaos belt. Uh, so these kind of items actually lets you uh, have minus resistance easily. The minus cap is actually 200. So you cannot go below 200 resistances uh, for your lightning resist, obviously. So while gearing this character, you want obviously cold, fire and chaos resist. I haven't put much chaos resist because that's going to make the build so much expensive. Again, I spent less than a hundred exalt. My gems are also awakened, so I am also counting those. Most of the stuff are like a couple of chaos. It's ridiculous. Uh, next item, replica dream feathers. These are the main weapons, obviously, because they provide attack damage per 450 armor. Right now, my character has 1.5 million something armor, so you do the math. Lots of attack damage. So these are your weapons. Maybe you can get corrupting... Uh, corrupted ones if you know any good implicits i just want to buy cheap ones uh, later on use the beast menagerie craft i think the beast's name is ray kick vassal or something like that just check it you can just see it in your own game even if you don't have the uh, recipe ready if you don't have the beast let's say you can just check them in your menagerie uh, so there is a beast that lets you corrupt an item to 30 percent quality so you make sure you also do that and also before that use an enchant uh, from harvest uh, for maybe attack speed those kind of stuff for faster weapons that is what i did so these are one chaos weapons um next helmet alpha's hole uh, this is where uh, some of our auras are gonna be if you want to invest a little bit more uh, but it is like two exalt right now uh, corrupted ones plus two aura gems uh if they are expensive just skip them just buy a regular one after that you obviously want to uh, get help from a labyrinth service provider depending on the enchant you want uh, if you don't like molten strike don't play it but i believe that is the most dps uh, that i could get uh, smite is also fine but molten strike is probably better with this bu budget I, I don't know i just shredded everything you just watched feared it took like 19 seconds uh simply ridiculous uh, so if you want another skill, uh, you can just play with that. Even if you are playing with Molten Strike, you can just jump swap for another clear skill while mapping. Something like Lightning Strike, if you like that. So, uh, if a skill works with Swords, one and Swords, you can just play anything. Alright? Uh, maybe get a Dorena prototype with 6 white colors. They are like 5 exalt. Uh, cheap, actually. Because 6 link is already 3 exalt or 4 exalt, something like that. So if white colors are like five exalt uh, almost the same price just get something and just jump swap and try other skills you don't have to play with molten strike or, or smite just play with whatever you want uh so yeah that sums up the helmet so make sure you pick a good enchant boots check these boots <laughs> this is like 50 chaos i believe and i just also enchanted it later on i just picked uh life resist that's it that's it nothing so <laughs> super cheap item uh for this uh stupidly powerful build the enchant is probably lightning damage if you haven't killed recently that is what i uh, did um if you have maybe have some friends to help you a couple of labyrinths will do the trick because this enchant actually has a higher weighting i believe it is actually really easy to find it um if you want to maybe use something else if you want to spend more obviously a tailwind boots maybe elusive boots those kind of stuff uh, they are going to be better obviously uh, glows again life and resistances that's it also attack speed or accuracy if you still need that make sure you check your accuracy and make sure your hit chance is kept um i advise you to not get a influenced and influenced gloves or you can actually put some new implicit searing exact and eater of worlds uh, by the way before i forget that uh, i'm just gonna check something real quick yeah 
This is also where my Purity of Fire is. You actually want your Purity of Fire to be level 23. So it can actually uh, provide you one extra maximum resistance. Uh, maybe you can also put Purity of Fire in your helmet because helmet already has plus two aura and if you have the corruption another plus two. So make sure you, your Purity of Fire is at least 23 levels so you can get plus one extra maximum resist. So that is that's why I put it uh, in my gloves actually. Um, so yeah. Uh, what is that? The implicit. Uh, because I haven't got any leech on the talent tree, I picked lightning damage leech as life uh, from one of the new influences. I always mix those up because there are lots of stuff. Just check PoE database website and then buy the orbs and craft it yourself. Lightning damage leech. Uh, by the way, uh, normally the build doesn't have mana leech, but I leech from Poacher's Mark Curse. Uh, if you don't want that, uh, that doesn't make much problem normally, but you can actually get a regular large cluster with fit to free uh, fuel the fight or the mana leech fit to free is for life leech there is also another life leech maybe i will just put pictures on the screen so make sure you get leech uh, from the cluster gel maybe normally i use other clusters that is what people use so i just buy uh, both the exact ones but you don't actually need those you can just play with different clusters if you want to fix the leech uh, all right um so yeah i also put extinguish that makes the enemies uh, actually pre prevent them from dealing ailments on you uh, this actually makes us uh, ailment immune once i start attacking so that belts armor will actually work all the times if you are against a single target maybe something like that so blows are actually again in the end uh, it doesn't cost much the base is something like maybe one or two exalt the implicit maybe cost at most one or two exalt so something like three or four exalt worth of blows uh yeah rings you just want uh, some non-channel skills have a minus mana cost. If you want to play with a channel skill like Blade Flurry, I also tested that. Ridiculous DPS. Just delays everything. Uh, you need to put channel skill cost uh, minus mana cost. So depending on the skill choice, put non-channel or channel skill mana cost. Uh, that's why you need uh, empty prefixes on your rings. Also life, resist, elemental damage with attacks maybe. Or any other stats that work for this build. This is not a crit build. Another stupid thing. Uh, maybe you thought this is a crit build. No, this is a non-crit build and deals this much DPS. Stupid shit, guys. Yeah. Uh, the build, I believe, let me just check it. Yes, need some intelligence. That's why that I put it on my ring. Uh, so do you need an unset ring? Uh, it helps. If you don't have unset ring, you probably need to skip enhanced support, maybe. So you will lose some armor and DPS. Uh, maybe you can skip. I'm just checking pet of building. Level 4 precision, I'll just... I don't know, now this actually provides 9% accuracy, so maybe not a good idea. Uh, so yeah, you should probably get one unset ring, or if you cannot get it, skip enhance support, alright? Without enhance, I'm just gonna check my DPS. I didn't lose that much, trust me. You don't even need enhance, alright? Uh, so you can just simply skip unset ring if you want, but if you can afford one, at least get one, so you can have, have the same gem setups that I used. But it is not a big of a deal in the end. You can just skip enhance, all right? I believe I skipped amulet. Uh, issues of stars. 30% quality is important. Uh, reservation is not that important. But obviously try to get some good rolls in the end. But do not pay extra for maximum roll or something. You don't need it. Uh, the anoint I picked is influence. Because it provides um, non-cursed... Non what's that? I'm just going to read it because I couldn't uh, memorize it. Effect of non-cursed auras. Yeah. You, you are already seeing it on the screen. And that's pretty much it about the gear. Now that I explained the gear, I'm just gonna show a couple of things in Pet of Building. Uh, maybe also gonna mention the um, gems that I also tested. They're all here, as you can see. I tested lots of gems. I haven't played with some of them. I just uh, uh, prepared them for you, maybe. Uh, also check the maybe uh, support gems. Maybe they are wrong or something. Make sure you check your mana cost again. Because on some of them I didn't use Inspiration, on some of them I used Inspiration. Make sure if they are using Inspiration they have actually some mana cost. Because if you have zero mana cost it doesn't work. So you may need to maybe change your rings, prefix, uh, mana cost, something like that on some of them. Uh, Alright, if you want to try something. As you can see even the shit, shit skills like Spectral Throw deals at least 44 million DPS. And I believe they hit uh, one more time once they are... Uh, what's that? Returning to you. Uh, maybe it is even more DPS, I don't know. I actually tried it, there is a serious clip, I just one shot at it. Maybe it is like 80 million DPS, I don't know. Just check the other video that I am talking about. Ch uh, check my channel. 
there is a abuse video, you know, with 12 different skills. Uh, Cyclone, I haven't tried that. It's a shit skill anyways. Dominating blow. Yes, this is the melee hit, by the way. <laughs> uh, simply ridiculous. So also check this. I just also um, listed them from the highest DPS to the lowest. Uh, Lightning Strike is also ridiculous, by the way. You can also play with that. By the way, these are obviously with Awakened Gems. You don't need them. Check this DPS. 107 million. Who needs that? Just play with regular ones, maybe 70 million DPS or something. That is still overkill for any boss in the game. You are just gonna one-shot everything. Uh, none of the bosses can actually uh, cast anything, you know. They cannot even attack. So these are all the other um, skills options. Obviously, maybe you want to use also Blood and Sand on some of them, some of them for area damage. I haven't done that. Uh, also, Warshift Totem. So these DPS, let's just have a strike for a second. 127 uh, million. Without this, so if I also put an Ancestor Warship maybe, look at this DPS. Do you need it? Obviously no. That's why I haven't done that. Uh, still overkill, still one shots, anything. Alright. So these are about the gems. Just check these if you want. I also put some notes here. Use cheaper gems and gear if that's your budget. Because DPS is just overkill. You don't need this DPS. I'm just abusing uh, mechanics right now. Just to show off. Uh, maybe they will just nerf it. Because this shouldn't exist, guys. I don't know. Uh, so let, let's just check. By the way, this tree is for Molten Strike. That's why you want Point Blank. I believe this also works for Lightning Strike. That is how I tested it. If you don't play with the projectile skill, uh, just get rid of this part. Use the points for something else. Alright. So the clusters. I'm just going to show those. These are like, again, at least 70 chaos. They just start from 70 chaos. Super cheap. You want 6 of these, I believe. Let me just check. 2, 4. Yeah. This is a 3 cluster build. Again, on one of your clusters, maybe you should use a feat to fully fuel the fight for the leech effects. Um, so you don't have any problems. Because my leech was from Poacher's Mark. Uh, Poacher Mark curse with Mark on it set up. Uh, this way you can actually trigger that without doing anything. You can also cast it manually if you want. Also maybe put life tap if you have any mana problems. Because this actually costs a lot of mana. Um, here... 46 mana, I have 50 mana left. If you have maybe 40 mana left for some reason, uh, this won't work. Uh, that's why uh, maybe consider using a life tap. Put the smite somewhere else. Get rid of enhance again, you don't need it. It doesn't provide much DPS. Or maybe get two unset rings. Alright, you just need to make sure that uh, you understand and uh, fix your problem. So make sure you can actually cast this poacher's mark. So this actually lets you uh, life on it and mana on hit by attacks, you know, against the cursed enemies. That is how I leech my mana. While mapping, you don't even lose the mana anyways. Because you just hit and move, hit and move. It doesn't uh, go away. But while bossing, this is how I sustain my mana. Uh, so feel free to use... Uh, what is that? A mana leech cluster. I'm just going to also put it here. I haven't edited it yet. But that's gonna be here, alright? I always put some uh, backup items, other items on this part of Path of Building. Uh, so you just check those. So I'm just gonna wrap up things. Um, just gonna show you the uh, clusters. So introspections for our effect. Um, let's just check if I lose any resistances. So right now this doesn't even provide me resistances, but it still provides huge armor, meaning decent DPS. So even if you have maybe 90 resist, 89 resist, whatever, you can even play with 87, 88, it doesn't matter, you won't die. Uh, that is enough to tank most of st stuff anyways. And so that's why, um, but you still need more introspections because this is how to abuse DPS. As you can see, this is by the way for, uh, if you are not familiar with Magma um, multi Strike, this is for per ball. This is not 20 million DPS, this build has more than 100 million DPS. Uh, so yeah, that is how Path of Building calculates that, unfortunately, because it doesn't know how much projectiles the enemy can actually get hit uh, by. Watchers, I pick, um, I pick Determination Armor and Red Conversion. This is a popular choice, I believe, but it is not expensive. It was like 4 exalt. Uh, maybe you can skip a conversion. It obviously provides some DPS, but you don't actually need it to play the build. Or maybe skip the armor. Alright, depending on your budget, maybe get other combinations. Uh, because normally we don't have any conversion, uh, I just try to convert some of the damage from my weapons. Uh, so, yeah. Next, let me just check if there is anything else to mention. These are all the same. Introspection, introspection. I don't even use regular jewels, I believe. What is this? Melding of flesh. 
already explained that obviously. I think he has to explain. Ah, yeah, I forgot this. Um, brutal restraint. You don't need a specific commander, just buy something. This is the number that I'm using, by the way. So maybe you can search for the exact one if you can find it. This is a good one. Uh, I just uh, got the number from another player and just searched for it and bo bought one for 20 chaos. <laughs> Uh, maybe I scammed the guy, I don't know. This should probably worth at least maybe 5 or 10 exalt. I don't know if it is true. Because it provides 9 cures over here. Um, there's dexterity here. You don't need that that much. Alchemist genius. If this works, you have even more armor, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to explain it in a second. Evasion rating. This works for armor because this is a iron reflex build. Uh, I believe this works, yeah. Uh, increase effect on non-damage ailment. This works for shock. You can actually shock with this build, even if you use, um, what's that, element focus, elemental focus on your main skill, your totem can actually still shock, because totems also deal ridiculous amount of damage. And there's also non-curse aura here. Uh, so yeah, this is at least two auras and some other stuff. Um, jewel, if you cannot find the same number, obviously just buy some random one, use maybe divine orbs, roll them, and just check the notables that we are using. In the game, obviously, you cannot see it in Path of Building. You need to just stick the gem in, jewel in, check these notables that we are using and see if you can get any alchemist genius, um, any aura effect. Aura effect is probably better. So try to get some good uh, stuff in the end. Um, so yeah, alchemist genius is here by the way. I haven't ticked that because my chance, you know, RNG is 25%. If I pick it, I have even more DPS because alchemist genius is above that grants flask effect, which will increase our armor. And also flash charge gain. Uh, so this also exists in brutal restraint jewels. So my alchemist genius is here. So yeah, maybe if you can stack a lot of these, it can also be good. You can just get that effect all the time, because the flasks all uh, provide you know armor, evasion rating, eight flask with attack speed effect on the implicit, a basalt flask for armor, additional armor at the suffix I believe. Um, this is for reduced effect of shock because I'm not ailment immune. A battle fate is also overkill. By the way, with Molten Strike, I am most of the time using... I actually forgot to put that. A Dying Sun for more projectiles. Let's also put a Dying Sun here. Oh yeah. Where is that? You can also play like this. Or just play with um, battle fate. It doesn't matter. The DPS is overkill. Anyways. So that's it about the guide. Again, don't forget to check the other video if you want to see 12 different skills annihilating everything. Um, if you want me to try any stuff, you know, just join my Discord, make some comments. Because the league is coming to an end soon, maybe I will just try some more stupid, uh, this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I will see you later. Bye bye.